Hi, and welcome again to another edition of Market Analysis for today, October 24th, 2023. My name is Giovanni Benacourt, analyst, trader, and educator with Matters Markets. Alrighty then, so we having a look at the NASDAQ, the indices. If we were to open right now, we would obviously be opening to the upside. Now, the futures markets is pointing uh, that it is obviously uh, trending higher, uh, and that's what we want, may want to follow. We are in CPSD markets. Uh, so with that being said, and the future market is is, uh, is trending higher, so the momentum could probably have already been lived, and at the open, we could probably continue to trend lower. Uh, yesterday, we saw that the market did uh, uh, trade below 14,500, but quickly retraced and close to the upside. Uh, today, we are having some of the momentum on the London Open, but let's see if when when... New York opens, that momentum will continue and take us to the 15,000 uh, resistance level in the NASDAQ. Uh, but then again, uh, we could probably also see a trending consolidation stage, horizontal movement, uh, looking between our channel between 14,900 and 14,700. That could also happen. Uh, otherwise, if the market decides to continue with the, with a the sell-off, then we are going to be using yesterday's low as our target. Then we have the S&P, which is also yes, it, it, a bit different than, than uh, the NASDAQ. It did close in the red yesterday. Uh, it opened uh, to the upside today it's, it's, it's so far, if we were to open right now. So let's continue with the momentum. But I also see uh, that perhaps 4,300 will be the resistance level for it. And it would do trend lower. Uh, come back in down to 4200 the uh, Dow Dow also has been trending lower uh, it did uh, show us a recuperation so far today but let's see if if that's uh, my momentum is lived or it's expired and it, con it will continue to trend lower as far as the crude oil goes WTI also well we have been trending lower I'm looking at perhaps $85 to be our support level for it, if not $86 as an initial psychological uh, round number. So we could probably be selling crude oil in the morning. Not gas. We are in a doji right now, so that, that's just showing us uh, a change in momentum. So we could probably, in the NASDAQ, I'm looking at it that could perhaps we could be just, you know, just also consolidation, just uh, trading. Uh, between this range uh, to 290 will be our pivot point three dollars will be our resistance and 280 will be our, our support but for now i'm just looking at it, at it to be just holding right here now if you do happen to have a you no know, uh break the sell off then you might want to come in somewhere around 285. then uh gold well gold after making that 2000 Kissing that 2000 marker on the 20th, it has retreated. Uh, 1960 is a psychological round number for, uh, in, internally for it. I have my 1920 uh, in case that this just plummets. But it, it, we could also just be uh, looking at a, a you know profit taking, repositioning, uh, and with all this uncertainty, which continues, uh, you know, geopolitical uncertainty, we could probably see uh, more influx of buying gold and reaching back 2000 so still being bullish with gold uh so silver however is it is turning lower so i'm looking at at a channel between 23 and 2250 uh for it to, to trade in inside of it and do a breakout to the upside now going back and meeting uh october 20th high copper copper had what came out of a, 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 out of this ranging uh scenario it fluctuated to the downside, but it found support at 350, it rebounded from that, and it's looking to stay within this range again. So 360 internally could be that resistance for it, and 355 could be that support for it internally. Uh, so a lot of shop here. So be careful with that. Then we have Bitcoin that has made a parabolic movement. Uh, will this be just buying the news? No. They're buying the rumors and then selling the fact. We, we, you never know. But uh, it has made a, a parabolic movement. 35,000 has been that 
resistance level for it. Let's see if 34,000 could be a, a, a better position to come back in and go long. Then the currencies are trending lower after having a nice run to the upside, almost hitting 107 in the euro. Uh, it has retreated down towards 106. And perhaps it will continue to do so down towards 1055. Okay. Also, the pound, it, they came up and almost kissed 123. It retraced, retreated from there. So 121.5 could be that support for it. And that could happen if we see that the uh, dollar index uh, com comes or towards the 106 and above, and we'll see that retreat, retreatment, retracement in uh, in the metals and the currencies. That's it for me today. Have a great, great, great trading day. I'll see you tomorrow.